And, and, and God bless your right to assemble and protest. That is your absolute God-given right. Uh, but if you think it's going to end at the White House like it ended uh, at a police precinct in Minneapolis, you are sorely mistaken. Um, and I, I, please, I, I'm absolutely praying for some de-escalation and common sense here. Protest by the, by the way, this want. is important, Dan. Dan, uh, there are protesters. There was a breach earlier tonight, as you know, and, and they are on high alert at the White House. Nobody's going to yeah. be allowed to go on those grounds. This, that will not end well mm -hmm. immediately. No. No, no, Sean, you're making a, a strategic miscalculation of the highest order. Um, if you think the Secret Service is going to evacuate their precinct, the White House, it is, it's not going to happen. Um, and secondly, you know, I, I was listening to the, the Mayor Rudy Giuliani before. I was a police officer when Mayor Giuliani was in charge. I can attest to what he said from firsthand experience. When yep. we went out to any civil unrest situation where things could get shaky, there was a standing order. The first person that broke the law, you went over the barricades, you grabbed them and you arrested them. The second person that threw a rock, you arrested them too. Sean, there was no third person. That was it. The, when you look at civil unrest situations, it's the same thing as criminality. It's a small pocket of agitators that agitate everyone else. And when you take them out of the equation, the situation calms down quickly. And the mayor understood that. Yeah, the mayor did. Bernie Kerrig did. We're watching now uh, what was a regular scene last night. 20 buildings ablaze uh, of 24 total last night. This is the first tonight. Uh, one bit of good news, if there is any good news, the fire department is obviously there. They're trying to extinguish it. Probably the building's destroyed already. We bring in Geraldo Rivera. Uh, Geraldo, oh, you, you've been a reporter on the ground. You started on the, on the streets of New York. Uh, one of the best street reporters in the history of, of reporting. You're watching this. You've seen when it's been handled correctly, like when Mayor Giuliani was the mayor of New York. You saw last night. You see tonight unfolding in Brooklyn, in Minneapolis. Uh, you see it in Atlanta. You see it in Chicago. Uh, your thoughts on how this is being handled. How is it possible they backed down and allowed a precinct to be taken over and burned to the ground last night and 170 other buildings, you know, looted? And, and robbed and broken this and broken that. Now we have the image of the third precinct being abandoned and then burned to the ground. Now we have the image of all these scores of businesses, many of them, if not most, owned by uh, hardworking immigrants, minorities, came to this country with the, you know, two cents in their pocket, made something of themselves, put their life savings in these businesses, only to see them wantonly destroyed. It's exactly what I said last night. Who's not being mentioned? George Floyd, the 46-year-old victim of all this. His death and the knee on his neck is not the image we're thinking about tonight. What we're thinking about tonight is cities across the country being set ablaze. What happened in Minneapolis was an outrageous dereliction of duty to abandon look, those neighborhoods to the mob. They, yeah. Those people have defamed, they have defaced the memory of this poor man, and it is horrifying. You know, Geraldo, you, you've been there. I want to go back to Dan Bongino, and I want to go back to the question I was asking Bernie and, and Mayor, uh, Bernie Kerrig and, and Mayor Giuliani. First person stop, second person stop. You see Minneapolis now, you see Atlanta tonight, you see Brooklyn tonight, now Chicago, and uh, it's early in Los Angeles tonight. There was a lot happening there last night as well. There seems no willingness to do what police need to do to stop the, these crowds. It's 46 minutes that this curfew has been in effect. And there are more people marching, not less. You know, Sean, how I many think... people need to get hurt? How many businesses need to get burned down? How many lives need to be put in jeopardy? How many times do we have to see this model of handling Dan, hang on one second. fail? The, by the way, yeah. Dan, it is early. You can see a fight is broken out right there in the streets. If we get, I don't know if we have control of that camera panned in. I do see police, though. Is it police or other... It looks like police have stepped in, start, yeah. stopped the fight. Now other people, look at that scene here. This is all unfolding live in Los Angeles. 
and it's 647 uh, Pacific time, Los Angeles time, 947 here in the east, and you can see this confrontation with the police and protesters now, and it's early out there. Dan, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, that's, I was just trying to make the point that how many times, how many lives do we have to lose and, and cities do we have to see just, just hollowed out by fire and unrest before we figure out that this model, this let them vent model to cite David Dinkins, the awful mayor of New York City during Crown Heights, how many times do we have to let this model play out before we realize we could have stopped this? We saw it in Baltimore with Freddie Gray, Stephanie Rawlings Bright, the mayor. Remember her quote, Sean? I gave those who wish to destroy space you did what destroy what and Geraldo is absolutely right what are we not talking about right now you know Sean can I just make a point here this is critical I was on Geraldo's radio show this way you know Geraldo and I disagree a lot but we agree on some stuff too we had a moment here a genuine moment where America came together conservatives liberals people greens conservatives tea party folks and said you know what this looks like an abuse of force situation we're with you. We got to fix this. And you know what we're not talking about right now? Any of that. We're talking about innocent people have nothing to do with their businesses being burned to the ground, people being attacked in their cars. This is an outrage. This is a disgrace to this great country, what we're seeing right now. Back to a quick final remark from Geraldo tonight. Amen to what Dan just said. I was in Baltimore on your show when the Freddie Gray riots happened. West Baltimore has still not recovered. I was in Los Angeles. You have a picture of Los Angeles on the screen now. In 1992 for the Rodney King riots. What the, the This most reminds me of the Rodney King riots. The devastation wrought was a decade.